All right, gang, Carolina Prepper here, down at the off-grid cabin property today. Um, I got the GoPro on my head, so I hope the picture's okay. And uh, I'm going to attempt to install my new charge controller and get all the fuses up and running today. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I got right now. I took this charge controller off the wall, if you guys remember from some of my older videos. Uh, it wasn't working properly. And now look at it, happy face on it, 14.3 volts. The batteries are topped off, full sun. Um, I'll show you out there. I think you can see the panels. Everything seems to be working okay, but in the meantime, I bought this new MPPT charge controller. And uh, I'm gonna try to install that along with my monitor. Here's my um, MT5, it's, it's a meter. I'm going to install that and hopefully get uh, everything fused up and working properly today. So stick around. I'm sure I'm going to have to heavily edit this video after the fact because I'm going to just let it run for right now. And I'm thinking about what I'm going to be doing. Actually, one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to solder a couple of the uh, connection points, one of which has been giving me trouble. So. I'm going to take out the old solder gun and I'm going to try to get that all set up today as well. As I had this one connection point, I actually uh, bought half inch copper tubing and I made some of my own uh, um, crimped wire ends, I'll show it to you. Uh, I bought some, this one I bought. This one I made, I don't know if it's showing up good on, on camera, but I made. But I want to solder some of those connections because they didn't work as well as I'd like them to. Uh, one on the other side, actually. I kept having one of the uh, cables come out, and I did my best to crimp it and hammered it and put it in a vise, and it just wouldn't get tight enough on there to work properly. So anyway, the, uh, the charge controller part of this will be easy. The fuses should be semi-easy. Everything should be semi-easy. I don't know what I'm complaining about. I just got to think through how I'm going to do this and what I'm going to do first. And uh, because I also have to stay connected because I need power to solder this stuff. So I'm trying to think how I want to do this. I guess first and foremost, I'm going to take... I got three of these bad boys. Let's see how that's going to fit in there. I got 30 amp fuses. These are mini ANL um, fuse holders. So I'm going to take one of these out and think about how this is going to work. You put these on the positive line. And I guess, I guess what I'm going to do is maybe, I don't want to screw them into the wall. I want to try to keep the screw holes down as much as possible. But I'm going to need them back here somewhere um, where I can access them easily and where I can... Uh, visually inspect them if something goes wrong. The first thing I'm going to do is check a fuse. So. Oh, it's going to stay open. I got my boy out there mowing the lawn today, which is cool. I'm glad I got him helping me out. It just popped out on me. All right. Yeah, these look like quality little uh, little fuse holders. They should do the trick nicely. I uh, I had a little snafu on Amazon um, because I'm unfamiliar with these types of fuses and fu fuse holders. Um, I bought the large fuse holders and I bought the mini fuses, but I specifically went went back through and I bought it off of Amazon. You know how the feature on there says. Uh, um, people who bought this also buy this uh, combine them both for this well that's what I did assuming that Amazon would know if you buy one size fuse holder that you'd want the same size fuses but for whatever reason in this case Amazon didn't do that and they sent me the large fuse holders and the small fuses and uh, so I sent back the fuse holders no problem and I bought the bought the smaller I bought the mini fuse holders. so I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm going to turn off the camera. I'm not going to show you how I'm doing this. It's going to take too long. I'll just edit it out anyway. 
and uh, hopefully when we come back you're going to see some progress on the fuse holders being installed and everything being fused. Okay, show you kind of what I did here. I got my mess. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, I got a couple of fuses that I put in line. I got one coming in from the panels going to the charge controller and then one with the power coming from the charge controller going to the batteries. I tried using some solder to uh, solder this connection here that's that was not on there so good but for some reason I put flux on there and everything and it just would not draw solder in fact the solder kept falling off so it was a clean clean wire too I just cut it so wasn't sure what the deal was there but I just crimped the heck out of it and hopefully that holds I got um these yellow wires here if you can see them uh, go to this meter over here this little digital meter um, this other one burnt out on me, and I'm not sure why, but that was the uh, voltage coming in from the panels. With my new meter, or with my new charge controller, I think I'll be able to read that right from the charge controller anyway. So, I don't even think I'm going to rehook that back up. I do want to put one more inline fuse coming from the battery to the power inverter, but I don't want to cut this cable. Maybe I should. Maybe it doesn't matter. I think I might just do it. All right, um, I'll show you everything once it's tidied up. Stick around. Okay, so I had to switch from the GoPro to my iPhone because I ran out of juice. Um, as you can see, I got the new MPPT charge controller up, and I, I guess I can take this off now. You know, I am Italian. We like to leave our plastic on things forever. But I'll take that off. Um, I actually kind of like this little thing. It's, uh, it lights up nice. It tells me the charge of the batteries. I don't know what some of this stuff is. I'm going to have to look at the, um, I'm going to have to look at the, uh, instructions, which, you know, being a guy, we hate that. This is how many amp hours we have. I don't know what that is. Uh, that's what's going to the load, which is nothing. 19.1 volts coming in. 14.3 volts is where the battery's at with 6.1 amps. So it gives me plenty of information. I like that. It's kind of neat. Um, in the charge controller, of course. So we're in good shape on the batteries. Um, everything's fused now. It wasn't before. I know that was bad, but it was what it was. Finally got around to fusing that. And uh, so that project's done and hopefully done for good. All right.